Off to France now then for the Hay Jocelyn Chase. It's a three mile three furlong grade one. The top one is Bucco Martin Leadham, five star for David Hooley. Flashpoint Leon Van Rensburg has also got last year's returning gold cup winner, G.I. Joe. Lord of the North for Joshua Sutherland. Master of Time for Joshua Sutherland too. Placebo Park and Plague Runner for Craig Allen. Plain Lukey for Martin Leadham. Reality Check for Ryan Tamasebi. Abby's Rose and Ask the Leader for John Morgan. Glad all over David Robertson. Griffin Guest for Darren Thompson. Little Green Bag, Ryan Tamasevi, and Special Cargo for David Robertson. So 16 then. Not running on the usual course. They're away and racing. Apparently the Grand National Star course at Oi Toy has been rebuilt. So they get to the first then, and over it they go. And they're all safely over it. Ask the leader. Is the leader at this early stage then. Racing down towards the second of the 24 ordinary looking fences. And as you can see, one of them is jumping around the outside of the track as well, so one too many for this particular course as Ask the Leader takes it along. Bit of a shame that we haven't got the right course for this race because it's normally a really good, exciting race. Uh, let's hope it still is. Uh, Ask the Leader is in front from Lord of the North who's gone second. Get back to Reality Check in third, then Griffin Guest is fourth. Little Green back after that one as they come down to the next. Certainly won't take as much jumping around this course as the other one would have done. And Ask the Leader is in front from Lord of the North second. As they get to the fourth, which they're all safer to the other side of, with Glad all over just the back marker. But Ask the Leader is in front from Lord of the North second. Reality check third and Little Green Bag four. Then Griffin Guest is five and five star is six. Then comes G.I. Joe and Abby's Rose, Bucco and Special Cargo with Plain Lukey just behind them. Then Master of Times, they come past the winning post as they get over the water jump, which is the only surviving fence from the Grand National Star Fences. To be perfectly honest with you, I have absolutely no idea how many times they've got to go around on this course now, but I'm guessing it's going to be another twice. And it's Ask the Leader, who's in the lead, as they get to the next. Oops, they're all safely over a bit of a mistake towards the back by Placebo Park, as we momentarily lose them between the leaves. But Ask the Leader. He's showing the way home. A long way home yet. And Lord of the North is in second. Little Green Bag is third and reality check is four. And get down to the next. And we'll jump that one nicely with Placebo Park still the back marker. And they're quite well strung out already. Still got a long way to go. I've done a third of the jumping. And ask the leader. He's going to be asked to lead over this one. They're all safely over again. Once again, Placebo Park a little bit slow at the back, just being niggled along by the jockey. But that's the leader is setting a stiff pace as they get over that next one. That looks a big soft fence. That one, most of them went through the top of it. They didn't seem to affect any of them. And ask the leader yet to be headed as they come down to this ditch, which looks a little bit more substantial than the last fence. And we've lost one at the back there. Glad all over's gone. So David Robertson's jockey won't be feeling glad all over at the moment. He's on the deck. And they get over the next. And ask the leader it is from Lord of the North second. And the Ryan Tamasebi pair running together. Little green bag and reality check. And Abby's Rose, the stable companion of the leader, is after that. As they get over number 12. And that was a four of their little green bags gone. So that's a little bit of a surprise because little green bag has been running well the first couple of weeks of the season. And a bit of a, I would say it's a bit of a reality check, I suppose, for Ryan Tamasebi, who's had such a good start to the season. As that one crashes out, but he has still got reality check in third. So it's Ask the Leader then being joined by Lord of the North. Disputing the lead, gap of about three lengths, then back to reality check and jump that one slowly. Good jump there by um, the Darren Thompson horse on the outside, Griffin Guest. That's alongside Abbey Rose for John Morgan. Then comes G.I. Joe trying to creep into it. The grey on the inside is special cargo as they get over number 14. So making a bit of a forward move now is Plague Runner. Flashpoint is in mid division with Bucco. Plain Lukey has dropped out the back with Placebo Park. But ask the leader and Lord of the North are disputing the lead. And they're three clear of Reality Check who's third as they get over the water jump again and then they'll go out on their final circuit G.I. Joe jumped that one quickly and is now moving into a much more into a much closer position much more challenging position now moving through into sixth 
Just had the one run this season so far where he got turned over. And they'll be looking to get back to winning ways as they get over that plain one. He took that one nicely, but Lord of the North has taken it up. Lord of the North then has gone into the lead from Ask the Leader on the inside second. And Reality Check is third. Gap back to Abby's Rose in into the chasing pack with G.I. Joe just tucked in behind them. Master of Time and Griffin Guest as they get over number 17. Blind Lukey is now the back marker. Received by Park hasn't really got going yet. And Plague Runner, another one of Craig Allen's is struggling towards the back. So a bit of a surprise to see his two out the back. It was still seven and a half furlongs to go as they get over number 19. Oh, and I don't think Placebo Park's going to be, like Plague Runner's going to be winning if it jumps like that. And now Placebo Park made a mistake as well at the back. But up top, it's Ask the Leader in front. Ask the Leader then, by a length, to Lord of the North in second. Reality Check still appears to be going well in third. Then comes Master of Time now being pushed on into fourth. And so too is Abbey Rose still sitting quietly on G.I. Joe. Griffin Guest is trying to get into it as they get over the 20th. Good jump there by most of the leading pack. But it's Ask the Leader who's gone too clear again. Ask the Leader is too clear of Lord of the North. The leader's stable companion, Abbey Rose, is trying to creep into it now. Reality Check is still there as they get over that one. And that is a grand national star fence. So where did that come from? Uh, it's Lord of the North in the lead then. But now here comes G.I. Joe around the outside. G.I. Joe's now come through to challenge for the lead. And Ask the Leader is on the inside in second. Reality Check is third. Then comes Abbey Rose, the grey special cargo. Over the third last they go. And G.I. Joe has hit the front. And is he going to do what he did last season and start powering away? Or are they going to get to him. G.I. Joe asked the leader on the inside. Special cargo on the outside. Reality check is still there. So too is Abbey Rose. After that one is Lord of the North who now looks to be beaten. But it's G.I. Joe who's gone for home. He's still got two to jump. G.I. Joe from special cargo and asked the leader. G.I. Joe comes down towards the second last fence then. Gets over it nicely. Gets away from it well. But Asta Leader is chasing in his hot pursuit. Flashpoint is trying to run on as well. So too is Abbey Rose. But it's G.I. Joe in the lead. Now being challenged again by the long time leader. Asta Leader over the final fence they go. G.I. Joe lands in the lead. Asta Leader is trying to close. Abbey Rose is trying to close. But Asta Leader's got G.I. Joe. And Asta Leader has gone past G.I. Joe. And Asta Leader is pulling away from G.I. Joe. And G.I. Joe is going to be beaten again. Lord of the North is running on. And Asta the leader is going to take this one pretty comfortably up the line. Ask the leader is the winner. Very close for second. Lord of the North, G.I. Joe, then Abbey's Rose and Flashpoint Reality Check. Plague one and never got into it at all. And Bucko was the last one to finish. And it's a win for John Morgan. G.I. Joe's two runs this season. He's been beating in both of them. So it's not a foregone conclusion that he's going to retain that gold cut crown. Come Cheltenham. That's the leader. Big price, hundreds of one. That's the leader of the winner then for John Morgan. Lord of the North second for Joshua Sutherland. G.I. Joe for Leon Van Rensburg was third. And Abbey's Rose for John Morgan was fourth with Flashpoint for Leon Van Rensburg in fifth.